Hey guys, welcome to a tutorial on the Morphogene. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to move files from the Morphogene onto your computer and move files from your computer onto the Morphogene. So let's get started. All right, so in order to get the SD card from the Morphogene on the computer, we need to remove it from here. So you can use these handy little uh, adapters so basically you just insert the SD card into here and then you get a standard size SD card that you can put into your computer. All right, so I've loaded the SD card onto my computer here and I've opened it up in Finder. So we can see the files in the SD card as they come in. So the two text files on the right here, I don't actually know what they do, but on the manual they say that you can pretty much ignore these and they don't actually need to be there for the morphogene to function. So the main important things here are the audio files on the left here. So currently I only have three loaded into here, but you can have up to 32. And these effectively map to the reels on the Morphogene. So each reel gets saved as a distinct uh, WAV file in here. And the naming convention is important. So they're all named MG followed by either a letter or a number. So they go MG1, MG2, MG3, etc., up to MG9. And then they go to MGA, MGB, MGC, etc., up to MGW. And in order for you to load your own files, there's a few settings you need to make sure you have both for the SD card itself and for the files. So the SD card needs to be formatted at FAT32. And the files themselves need to be 32-bit floating point numbers uh, sampled at 48 kilohertz. And again, you can have up to 32 of these files into here and each file can be up to 87 seconds long and it must be stereo. All right, so with all that in mind, let's quickly go over how to import files from the Morphogene onto your computer and the other way around as well, so from your computer onto the Morphogene. So I'm gonna be demonstrating this on three different programs, uh, Ableton Live, Reaper, and Audacity. And the reason being is that Ableton Live is the DAW that I use personally but unfortunately, Ableton Live can't export uh, cue points, so it can't export uh, splice markers into the Morphogene. So Reaper is the only one that can do it. Uh, so I downloaded a trial of Reaper just to see if I can um, set that up. And then finally, I'm going to show you how to do basic exporting and Audacity, uh, which also can't export the cue points, uh, but it's a free software, so I wanted to at least present an option um, for those of you who don't have any software. So the main thing I'm going to do is load one of these files by dragging it into Reaper. And if you can see, there's these dotted uh, red lines which indicate where the splice markers are. But in order to actually export or import the cue markers, you select a track or select a clip, and then you go to Item, Item Processing, Import Media Cues, and then you can see you'll get these actual Reaper markers created based on where you created splice in uh, the Morphogene. So that's kind of cool. So I'm going to switch over to Ableton Live now and we're going to start from there in order to create files uh, from the computer and import them into the Morphogene. All right, so we're in Ableton Live now. The first thing I'm going to do is go to the settings, so Live Preferences, and I'm going to make sure I select 48 kilohertz, uh, which is a sampling rate we want. And I'm just going to record a little audio snippet here. Ableton 1, Ableton 2, Ableton 3, Ableton 4, Ableton 5. So I'm going to go to File, Export Audio Video. And then here there's a few settings you want to select. So you want to make sure it's a WAV file, 48 kilohertz sampling rate, bit depth of 32. And that's about it. So let's go ahead and export that. So I'm going to put this straight into the SD card. And again, we're going to name it MG, and I'm going to name it MG4 because that's the one that I don't have yet here. All right, so now we're in Reaper. I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to create a new track, arm it for recording. Make sure I select my stereo track and just record a little snippet. Reaper 1, Reaper 2, Reaper 3, Reaper 4, Reaper 5. I'm going to hit S to divide these two and delete the first part. And now to actually create splice markers, you want to position your cursor somewhere and then hit the M key. So I'm going to create markers at the beginning of each of these different sections that I've created. And then I'm going to go to File, Render. 
And again, here, the main things you want to pay attention to are the sampling rate. So I want to set it to 48. K, make sure it's a WAV file, 32-bit floating point. Make sure write BWF is selected, and then select markers only here. And that'll export um, the actual Q markers into what the morphogen will understand as splices. And I'm going to select my SD card here. And again, naming convention is MG for morphogene and then a number, so I'm going to do MG5, uh, which is the next in line. And I'm going to hit Render. All right, same thing with Audacity here. I'm just going to select 48 kilohertz, select my audio input here, and then hit Record. Audacity 1, Audacity 2, Audacity 3, Audacity 4, Audacity 5. And I'm just going to remove, trim the beginning here. And again, I'm going to go to File, Export Audio straight into my um, SD card. I'm going to select Wave 32-bit floating point. Call this MG6. And we don't care about metadata. OK, now that we've done all the recordings, here's what our SD card contents look like. So Reaper has created this meta file here, which I'm just going to get rid of. And then we have our three original files, which I got from the Morphogene. And then we have the three new ones. So I'm actually going to get rid of these three and rename these to one, two, three right now. All right, so I've renamed the file. So now the first one is the one from Ableton Live without splice markers. Second one is from Reaper with the splice markers. And the third one is from Audacity also without splice markers. So I'm going to eject my SD card, put it back in the Morphogene, and then let's go and have a play over there. All right, so we're back here. I've reinserted the SD card into the Morphogene. I've powered on the modular, and now we're ready to go. Crank up the sound on sound so we can hear it. Ableton 4, Ableton 5. We can hear the sound that we exported from Ableton Live. So if you remember, that one is just one big wave file with no splice markers, and that's why we're hearing it all playing and continuously. One, Ableton 2, Ableton 3. So in order to load the different reels, so if you remember, each wave file is a different reel. So to load reels onto the Morphogene, we need to get into reel mode. So you do that by going to holding splice and pressing record. And now Ableton 4, Ableton 5. Now you can use the organize knob to select different reels and you can actually audition them if you're sound on sound. Ableton up. 5. A Reaper 1, Reaper 2, Reaper 3, Reaper 4, Ableton 1, Audacity 1, Audacity 2. And then you exit by pressing splice and record again. Audacity 2, Audacity 3. Audacity and now we can hear the one exported Audacity from Audacity. Aud and again, Audacity didn't export the splice markers, so we're just hearing one Before big. Four, Audacity 5. Audacity 1, Audacity 2. So if I go back to real selection mode by holding splice and rec. Audacity 1, Audacity I can select two, the Reaper 1. Ableton 1. Reaper 1, Reaper 2, and exit out of Reaper that. Reaper 3, Reaper 1, Reaper 1, Reaper 1. And now you can see that in Reaper, if you remember, we actually exported splice markers. So I manually created splice markers at the division between when I said Reaper 1, Reaper 2, Reaper 3, and etc. So if you can hear now, one, Reaper 1, it's just looping the first Reaper splice. One, so it's actually loaded the splice Reaper markers. One, Reaper one. And if you remember on the Morphogene, one way to advance splice uh, to the next splice is just by pressing shift. Reaper 1, Reaper 1, Reaper 2, Reaper 2, Reaper 3, Reaper 3, Reaper 4, Reaper 3. And you can also use Reaper three, the organize Reaper uh, CV three, here to select Reaper the three, splice. Reaper so one three, thing I can do is I can patch an LFO Reaper three, to control Reaper 3, Reaper 3, the splice Reaper here. Three, Reaper 5, Reaper 5, Reaper 4, Reaper 5, 5, So I can go back to my real selection and now I'm going to select Reaper the one, one from Ableton. Reaper 2, Ableton 1, Ableton, Ableton 1, Ableton 2, Ableton 3. Ableton 4. And since we didn't create splice markers for the Ableton sample, I'm just going to create them manually on the Morphogene by hitting the splice button. Ableton 1, Ableton 2, Ableton 3, Ableton 4, Ableton 5. Ableton 2, Ableton 2, Ableton 3, Ableton 3, 
Ableton 4, Ableton 4. All right, so hopefully that gives you a good idea of what you can do with the Morphogene in terms of exporting files and importing files. Um, so I, the only software I can think of that can export and import splice markers from the Morphogene is Reaper currently. So if anybody knows how to do it in Ableton Live or another program, definitely let me know in the comments. Uh, I've spent a few hours Googling and I couldn't find anything uh, with Ableton. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.